Today, we're going to talk about AWS Parallel Cluster, our primary tool for building traditional Beowulf clusters in AWS. But there are several twists, because with great elasticity comes great possibilities. Let's get started. Parallel Cluster is an open source cluster management tool developed by AWS with feedback from the broader HPC community. It enables you to build, manage, and use traditional HPC clusters, but with the elasticity and flexibility of AWS. Parallel Cluster is designed for scaling out traditional HPC and machine learning workloads without having to retool them to fit into cloud native designs. It uses an infrastructure as code approach. You write a file that defines the broad characteristics of your cluster may be drawing inspiration from an existing physical design. And Parallel Cluster handles the undifferentiated heavy lifting of launching and managing it for you. So how does that even work? Unlike a lot of AWS offerings, Parallel Cluster isn't a managed service. Instead, it's software that you install into your own AWS account. You then either use a CLI or a web interface to configure and launch your HPC cluster. Parallel Cluster orchestrates several AWS services to build a customized HPC system for you. When it's ready, you log into the head node of our SSH and use it like a traditional on-premises HPC. You'll find a parallel cluster HPC environment really familiar. The operating system is going to be Ubuntu, CentOS 7, or Amazon Linux. That's your choice. You can install and manage applications using common tools like Conda and modules and SPAC. You can access a remote desktop or do interactive visualization using Nice DCV. And of course, the ever popular Slurm scheduler is used for scheduling resources. While the work environment might be familiar, but you gain a lot of flexibility and power with Parallel Cluster that makes it different from traditional HPC. First, you have a lot of flexibility with respect to compute. Do you want to try out the newest DC2 instances or work with GPUs? You go into your cluster configuration, add those instance types to a Slurm queue, and a couple of minutes later, you can start running jobs on them. No procurement necessary. Speaking of queues, you've got flexibility there too. Parallel Cluster lets you have multiple instance types in a single queue and you can have multiple queues. If you need more queues or different queues, you can just add or change them. If you need to change the number of instances in a queue, well, that's configurable too. And you can even tune how much you're willing to pay for a compute by setting your queues to use EC2 spot instances. Slurm queues and EC2 combine together to give you on-demand scaling. Your cluster can sit waiting with just a head node until jobs are submitted. Slurm will detect those waiting jobs and spin up nodes to process them. And when the work is finished, scale, the cluster will scale back down to zero. And this way, you only pay for as much AWS as your jobs need. Next, Parallel Cluster helps you take advantage of advanced AWS storage. You start out with a home directory shared between the head node and compute nodes. You can make this bigger, but you can also use other Amazon file systems. For example, you can create and mount high-performance Lustre file systems with Amazon FSx for Lustre. Parallel Cluster can either create these file systems for you, or you can create them on your own and just tell Parallel Cluster to mount them. It's pretty straightforward, but it's also pretty flexible. And lastly, Parallel Cluster has powerful networking features. First, it automates the use of Amazon Elastic Fabric Adapter, or EFA. An EFA is our data center scale high performance networking protocol. But in terms of general networking, Parallel Cluster lets you set up private networks, SSH bastion hosts, static IPs, and security groups for your cluster, helping to secure it. Some pretty complex configurations can be set up this way, including HPC with no internet access at all. You simply define it in your cluster config. Parallel Cluster takes care of the actual implementation behind the scenes. So what does it even cost? Well, Parallel Cluster is available at no additional charge. You pay only for the compute, storage, and other cloud resources that your job uses. Who uses it? Customers from many industries are using Parallel Cluster. Among these are autonomous vehicle simulation, drug discovery and genomics, Big data analytics, machine learning and AI, financial services, CAE and CFD, oil and gas exploration, and weather modeling. We'd love to hear from you how you're using it. So this concludes our high-level overview of AWS Parallel Cluster. To review some key points, first, Parallel Cluster empowers you to build and use traditional HPC clusters in the AWS cloud. It's standalone software that you install in your own AWS account. It uses infrastructure as code, to represent your cluster as a simple text file while it handles the actual setup and management. Parallel Cluster helps you use the latest AWS instances, high performance storage, and advanced networking in your clusters with only simple configuration changes. And finally, Parallel Cluster is used broadly in many fields, 
So if you're running traditional HPC today, you can likely benefit from Parallel Cluster as well. Thank you. If these Tech Shorts Foundations talks are helping you get your head around how AWS can work with your codes, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel so you can get notified when we have more material like this for other HPC topics. And don't hesitate to contact us on Twitter if you want us to spend some time on a topic you're interested in. Thanks for watching. See you next time.